What is going on, guys? Wise here, bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was our pot luck spin for the weekend. Uh, we matched up against the fine ladies and gentlemen over at BRCM. This is one of the clans in the Spartans Legacy family. Not 100% sure exactly their standing within the family. Um, obviously, you know, not 100% fully up to date with the uh, internal workings of the uh, the SL family, but a uh, bunch of uh, but a good group of uh, great attackers and great defenders nonetheless. So let's just hop on over, check out what happened. 76-73 was a victory for 2.0. This was uh, sort of the battle of the box bases, actually. Uh, both the 11s ran box bases up top. Uh, obviously, they, uh, they didn't uh, get any of ours, so that sort of really was the difference in the war. I mean, it, both sides left a lot of 10s on the board. Um, and actually, BRCM, I think their ultimate demise was obviously only getting the one stars up here made a big difference. However, um, they definitely didn't have a, as many attempts because um, our Town Hall 9's defending was just beastly, right? Uh, let's check out all these bullies. Uh, there's one right there. Two right there, three right there, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bullies, damn. So really good job by our Town Hall 9 uh, base building team. Uh, forcing that many bullies obviously just cuts that many more attacks up uh, off up top. Uh, leaves them less chances against those max defense um, ring bases and ended up paying off uh, big time for us. We ended up snaking a few in here. Um, we did leave a couple of their uh, 11s on the board still as well. Those, the new Town Hall 11 defenses um, in a ring base style is, is not fun to deal with. Um, I am going to show you one uh, one of the ways that we did did manage to get a good high percentage two star on that base uh, or on one of those bases. But uh, let's just kind of go down the board here and check out. Obviously, like I said, we left a bunch of tens on the board. It's pretty much uh, I don't think we've cleared the tens since the update. It's been been a struggle. You know, town hall ten versus ten definitely definitely is is difficult, and I don't like it because I feel it's pushing people towards using just mass bowlers again. Um, I don't know. I don't know the way to describe it, but I, I really feel Town Hall 10 versus 10 and, and even 11s, uh, that it needs tweaking. What the changes they made, I think, again, I, I've talked about this before, that the changes had sort of the right ideology, but the wrong result. And uh, they need to address that, I think. Um, I don't, let me go on the record here. I do not think Town Hall 10 versus 10 should be easy by any means. But it needs to have more options. You need to, I, I think a lot of people at the Town Hall 10 level are getting frustrated. They're not happy. They're not having fun. And that's obviously very detrimental to the longevity of your game as well. So they got to they gotta do something about that. They have to address that. Um, but let's just start right at the bottom. We're going to check out a few really sexy Town Hall 9 triples here first. We got DH. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to come back to this one. I wanted to show, someone had mentioned... Uh, back uh, maybe a couple videos ago, uh, they like to see you know um, occasionally maybe an eleven bullying a ten, especially with the new meta. Also, how elevens deal with elevens when they run sort of very uh, very tough box bases like this. So I was going to show what was their seventy four percent BP going in on their number two here. Um, so uh, twenty one bowlers, but really um, a big piece of this. It's just how he creates the funnel to make sure the bowlers jump over and get this town hall. Um, that's what it comes down to. You want to use your Grand Warden ability at the right time. A um, couple little archers go down here. Now, I like this because you may think that they're just for, you know, two archers for 2%. You'll take that any day against the max 11. However, at the same time, they have a, they, they're doing double duty over here. They're creating a funnel for the for this side of his funnel that he's going to... Um, going to create here in a moment. So the queen's going to go in, take care of a bunch of good defenses on her way, nice and juicy defenses, getting a Tesla, getting all this stuff out, pull that clan castle out, take care of that stuff. Basically creating the funnel on the six o'clock section of base right here. <clears throat> that balloon is going to go down by itself. This queen's going to walk onto the goal and he's going to go ahead and drop a baby D up here, get the funnel going up here and you're going to see king go in and I think a clan castle full of Velps. So here comes some wall breakers. Open up that wall. What is he sending here? Was it Valks? Yep, Barb's and Valks. So four max Valks come out. Help that Barb uh, Barb King out a little bit. Really, uh, the idea of this is that they're just creating the funnel over here. Because now he's going to go ahead and send a few bowlers in. Just continue to pick off some buildings. Any second, he's going to drop his Grand Warden. And the rest of his bowlers, there they go. 
with two more healers to kind of keep the bowlers um, going here. Right, Obviously, that defensive queen's in there trying to do work on them. They're all about to lock onto her, though. She is going to go down to a bunch of rocks to the face. Down she goes. Boom, boom, boom. So, I mean, two healers are very light. They're not keeping the bowlers necessarily alive. They're just prolonging their deaths, uh, which is which is what he needs. He needs them to get in here. He needs to take care of this uh, Inferno Tower. So down it goes. Nice Grand Warden ability once, once, while they take care of that Inferno Tower. Down goes the Eagle and down goes the Town Hall. We are at a two-star already, and this Queen is still going to be doing work around this outside. She still has all her healers. No problems whatsoever. That Grand Warden's in there helping out too. He's so weird. I don't Obviously, I don't have a Town Hall 11, so I haven't really attacked a lot and understand um, the Grand Warden's... Uh, auto attack uh, target selection uh, for what I know is he'll, he'll always be he'll always try and stay within the largest group of units he can cover with his aura and he only attacks buildings that are already being attacked by groups of units um, which is I don't know just blows my mind some of the things I see him do sometimes but anyways as you can see nice and easy she's gonna get a couple more buildings before time runs out bam 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 and down she goes Really nice job there, BP. Sexy. So that obviously was a was a good one. You know, high percentage two star on these box bases. Uh, we knew it was going to come down, uh, come down to the top section here in the end. So really fantastic job by our boys up top. Uh, did want to show one bully here. I definitely don't show this too often, but with the the game changing recently, I think it's important, especially for uh, you know a lot of the lower level clans. You get a lot of farm wars that end up uh, their elevens really um, really need to know how it's done because it, it's not it, it's not it's not just a given, right? You can't just bully bully a 10 anymore and throw a bunch, throw 50 miners at the base and, and know you're going to get it. So uh, this is how our guys are doing. And again, mass bowler, surprise, surprise, with that Grand Warden. TU sends a CC full of giants in here. I like that as well. Uh, Jump Spell is going to let everything into the, basically this whole section of the compartment. I think, um, no, this couldn't have been a, a this was definitely a, a cleanup hit, but um, uh, you know, there is a bomb, I believe, right in between here. So he does want uh, at least the golem, if not a couple giants, or sorry, did I say golem? At least the giant or the king to jump in there ahead of the bowlers. And there it goes, trigger that bomb ahead of time, but does hit that Grand Warden ability just in case, keep everything going, get that core gutted out, really needs to continue to get let the bowlers do their work. Nice little rage spell, smash that Inferno Tower in one second, smash that Expo, and just getting good value out of those bowlers. They do pitter out this little group of them, but nice one for one trades, balloons on the troll Teslas on the outsides there. So down go the Teslas. it has got this nice little group of units here. Still both, all three of his heroes still has that queen ability. Has some giants standing there having fun, beating a wall. Uh, oh, he does that. He did bring a golem. That's right. So he had a golem and a CC full of giants uh, just to get that tanking uh, tanking for the bowlers, right? Uh, those three bombs in the core. That's I don't know why he hit that, uh, that Grand Warden Tome there. But uh, as you can see, I, what I like too is the, the balloons do work here the two he used for the uh for the troll teslas they come back in and they help out a little bit keep things moving around keep working on those defenses uh has the giant and the golem in there in those last few defenses tanking away gonna go ahead and let that balloon walk right in on that arch tower blam down it goes fast forward this down goes the cannon job to you so i don't know guys i mean I'm not saying Mass Bowler is the only attack, but for us at least, but what we're seeing, um, again, it, when I say Mass Bowler, that, that's open-ended. That means that can be what you just saw with Giants and a goal. It can be with no goal, no tanking units whatsoever. It can be with a walk. It can be with, with two golems. Um, so there's, there's a whole bunch of options regarding that, but I'm just finding more and more that, I mean, the bowlers are still just as strong as they were. They're definitely took the, took back over at least at the 10, 11 level. So something to think about when you're making your attack. So let's just jump down back to that attack by DH. I wanted to show <clears throat> starting down at the bottom. So number 30, I like this base because I've been sort of experimenting with these like very skinny compartment runway bases. Um, sort of an interesting choice by DH here, I think. Because uh, generally when I see bases like this, I'm sort of leaning towards a go-ho because you just know there's very few areas of threat for your hogs. So 
Um, using some sort of go hobo or something like that, I think would have been very effective on this base, especially coming from this bottom section. Because the way these runway bases work, if you come at them from the outside angles, yeah, they have a lot of walls to get through. But if you come at them from the other side, they're basically, I say runway because they are literally runways running up and across the whole base. So you're going to see this little walk here, right? Um, clear that side of the funnel with the baby D. Queen's going in. Just going to continue to walk around to the nine o'clock section. So goes ahead and drops a goal and gets the funnel done on the other side here. And once all that jazz is done, he's going to go ahead and drop a king, drop a couple pekkas. Still has five baby Ds here. Uh, Clan Castle full of bowlers comes out, keeps everything working. They're going to round the bend here at nine o'clock. Um, jumps, uh, going to open the wall here and then drop a jump spell over this section of these three runways. And basically has these Pekka's King, the Golem, all these bowlers all working now right into the base together. They're all going to take this jump and literally use these runways to get from uh, one side of the base to the other. Now it's Test the Farm Pops, right? Obviously only the level one Expo, so that that helps a bit because uh, they don't do a heck of a lot of damage. Um, but as you can see, it, didn't, it wouldn't matter. I mean, yeah, these Teslas are a bit of a threat to those Pekkas over there. But with that Queen's in there, those bowlers are in there. They're going to smash through those in no time. He's got baby Ds all over the base. Still has two in the bag. Three of them working their magic on the outside here. Don't even think he needs to burn the other two. Still has his King ability, his Queen ability. Just smashy, smashy, smashy. Really nice job, buddy. Killed it. There's five BBDs, a P.E.K.K.A., your heroes with their abilities. Just beautiful. All right. I want to show this one. It's my boy, Lime. Good old Limey. Uh, bringing the dragon attacks. It brings seven dragons. Um, a lot of the attacks I saw this war, a lot of the base building by BRCM, allowed us to get huge sections of the base taken out while taking care of multiple air defense, usually three, if not all air defense. In fact, I think another attack I show, he gets every single air defense with this kill squad and kind of just, he has two hounds, but doesn't know what to do with them. So just sort of drops them on the outside. But Lime here gets a good funnel, opens up that wall, rages the kill squad in here. <clears throat> gonna take care of two sweepers. He's gonna take care of three air defense, both expos, three archer towers. Like look at all the, stuff that that targets air really on the entry he gets here doesn't get the queen but that's okay because out comes that clan castle no big deal for dragons right i mean that that's kind of the way you look at it and if you can manage to take care of that many air defense he's that quick the other one so there's no air defense no sweepers only two archer towers one of them being a tunnel eight archer tower it doesn't stand a chance. He got seven dragons. Now he almost defends this. I'm sure Lime was shitting his pants here for a second. Because you're going to see at the end of the raid, he literally only has one dragon left. Part of the issue is because he chose to rage his kill squad and because he brought the Zap Quake. So that means his dragons are don't have a rage. If he had a rage for the dragons right over this little Tesla farm at 9 o'clock, they would have just ripped through this stuff. But you're going to see they slowly get caught up on the town hall while just getting pegged off by these Teslas for so long. But it's just it's just too much. Uh, they're just, sorry, there's, the dragons are just too much for uh, for the remainder of this stuff here. Oh, and they get caught up on the king here for a second too. So you can see these Teslas doing, just working so hard. Just come on, get the dragons, take them down. But there's, there's just too many. There's no way they're going to stop. But as you're going to see here in one second, Boom, Black Mind, one of the full health dragons. That's got to hurt. The other Tesla takes care of this dragon. This guy is almost dead. Oh, has just enough gas left in the tank here. Then watch this. I think he even needs one more mind in the face when he comes over here. Who? <laughs> oh, Limey. <laughs> comes away with the three star there. Nice job, buddy. Moving up the chains. Let's go number 22, Bucko. Uh, the... The Veeler Strat's catching on, you know. Uh, I do want to give uh, Jamie a lot of credit for showing me the way with this attack. Uh, she, as far as I know, was basically, basically the one who um, I, I invented it. I just want to say, definitely, uh, definitely labeled it for us, at least as a clan. I do not see a lot of other clans using the Strat whatsoever. I use it continuously, and I, um, I'm telling you, I get. I get at least one three star every war. I usually always do fresh hits um, with this very strat. I mean, I, I I'm not an air guy. Um, 
I practice Lalo's. I practice Gobo's with or Gobo's too with uh, with bowlers, obviously, um, in my friendly challenges. But I'm this is my attack. I mean, I've always been a Valkai. I understand their pathing. I usually can do a very good job at at judging exactly where they're going to go, exactly where I need to place my spells. Um, and when you can do that, this this like look, this clump of Valks just stays together. The whole time they do stand a little bit off on your heel spell there, Bucko, because they are taking damage from the CC troops. But there's just too many of them. This clump of Valks does serious, serious work. This raid has the two heel spells, so he does get one split. This is what you want to avoid: is having that one Valk go off by himself, because you know they're going to get stuck on a wall and then die. But if you can keep them in this little death ball, right? Keep three, four, five, six of them together. They just bust through the base so quickly. You keep them healed when they get stuck up on walls. See, they do a little bit of a split here. But the nice part about not bringing jump spells, okay? Let me pause this right here. This, this is a good example of why you don't bring a jump spell, okay? Just forget everything else about this raid. If, if, he had had, if he had dropped a jump spell over this whole intersection, well, look at the way the Valks wanted to split. He's got two over going for this sweeper. And I think he's got two, maybe even three. I think there's a total of at least four, if not five Valks in this little clump, but they're going to split right in half. A couple are going for the sweeper, a couple are going with the king over to this wizard tower. If you had a jump, they would have went that way. But you're going to see here in a moment, boom, the wall opens up and the Valks get off that wall and go join go join the rest of the party. That's why I do not bring jumps with this attack because especially early on, when you get that huge death, when you got all 11 Valks together, when they bust a wall, even if they've tried to split, more often than not, not always, because Valks are redheads, you know, they have no soul. Um, <laughs> so sometimes they go off on their own, the, the, the Gingies. But usually when that hole gets busted up, they all regroup together and go through that, that newly formed hole. Whereas if there's a jump spell, they go to their target no matter what. They don't get stuck on the wall while the other Valks bust the hole in the wall and then they rejoin them. Um, they just split and then they uh, they split too quickly. They disperse off on their own too quickly. They thin out and then you lose them. And that that is where the power of this raid comes from, from at least my experience with it. Keeping your Valks in a death ball, raging them appropriately at good walls, uh, good locations, keeping them healed when they get stuck. Sometimes your healers join up and help them, uh, which is really great because, like, see these two Valkyries, they're going to take forever to get through this wall, but they got the healers on them. There's no way that Cannon and Arch Tower are going to take care of that. So just let, just bind the Queen time on her own to, to work through the base, bind these units on time on the outside. Definitely going to be a tree star here. Just smashed it, Bucko. Nice job, buddy. You know I love these attacks. Power of the Veiler. What I like about it, it's just forgiving because it, it you have so many healers up on the board. I mean, you have so many Valkyries up on the board. It, things can go very, very wrong with that attack, and you, you quite often come away with three stars, though. So, anywho, moving on. Number 18, Valen Fretz. <clears throat> Another dragon attack here. Now, uh, same... Um, I was when I was watching this attack, I was really surprised he decided to not bring wall breakers and try and bust this wall and then jump over to this core because this compartment here is absolutely jumpable. Um, and you would get the queen and have access to all four air defense at the same time. Uh, Val says, Screw it, I'm not bringing uh, not bringing wall breakers. I'm just going to get that funnel down, get that queen going. She's going to walk down and join up here. Got a second golem down here in one second. Why he didn't drop that second golem that quickly? I don't know why. But anyways, in he goes. He's getting that tanky down funnel. Is getting finished off. So see, um, I at this point would have dropped wall breakers, and then he could have pushed that jump further. But whatever. How do you critique the three? Uh, poison down over the uh, CC troops. I think second poison is going down over this queen here. There it goes. Golems are in. Bolos are in. King is in. Queen is in. Let's get get all that stuff down. Then you would have had to bring that second jump. That's the other thing too. I didn't even realize that at first. Like could have easily. I think. I think he was worried. Maybe no. See, it's a dead. That, that was a dead zone. So if he just dropped wall breakers, they were gonna go right here while he had that that wizard tower distracted. I don't know. Anyhow, as you can see, all four air defense are down. Regardless, even though he used a second jump, could have had a rage for his dragons right here instead. How cool would that have been? Just rage that stuff, bust through that Tesla farm. But too much, uh, too much dragon for these Teslas to handle. Down it goes. All these baby D's are even doing tanking for the big dragons. So his kill squad is finally pittered out. 
but you can see the damage they did, right? All four air defense, both the sweepers, same thing as that other attack, or that attack we just saw by Limey, right? Get Just got so much air targeting stuff. I mean, you, it doesn't really matter where you drop the dragons. I mean, absolutely, they're going to end up ripping through the rest of this base. Nice little balloon there to help out. Start working on those defenses while well, the dragons work on the trash. Bam, 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 bam. Down it goes. Tree in the bag for my buddy Val. Good job. So was that? 18. We're going with 17. Tritosh. Same idea, but goes with the Lalo here. And just a, a shattered, a, a shattered bull Lalo. Um, right? Get that, get that funnel done nice and early. Wizards down very, very quickly here. I uh, thought it was kind of interesting. You're going to see here in one sec. It doesn't really do much. See the skeleton spell he dropped? I don't know if it was just a distraction for a moment for the balloons. Not sure if he was just feeling a little frisky and said, hey, I want to bring a skeleton spell, so I'm going to bring it. <laughs> but he brought it and it did a little bit, did a little distracting, right? Distracted the queen for a moment, let everything in. So I don't know, had a little bit of value. Uh, clearly, he clearly knew he didn't need the poison, so that's why he opted. Um, bowlers go in, smash that queen with some rocks to the face. I love seeing that. Just, you know, I just picture a bowler in real life just smashing the head of a hero with a giant bowl, uh, boulder. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I take joy in that. It's just kind of funny. Uh, yeah. See, the, see the hero's kind of got in the face. Two air defenses are about to be down. Third one is also about to be down. Just got to work through all this stuff. I think the queen gets all four air defense. This was the attack I was talking about earlier. All four air defense are down. So he's got two balloons, right? There's nothing to attack air. I mean, so he goes in, he's like, um, okay, I guess I'll drop it on the cannon and the search tower. <laughs> Let him just sit there for a bit, drop a couple balloons, like being very, very slow and careful with the balloons. He only brought 11 balloons, I think. So, you know, just wants to be very conservative. Doesn't want to... Um, get the balloons too far in front because as you can see starts losing them if the hounds don't get out there ahead of time but that's okay queen's gonna step up start helping out with the defenses it's very very predictable pathing basically down to six and back up to three now at this point so he's got five balloons just got to be very very patient i would have waited a little bit their tratosh just to let those hounds get over as they were on the as they were on this cannon they would have take that tanked that um tesla but no big deal a couple more balloons get Take care of the wizard tower. Really, there's only a couple more defenses to go. Get off my screen, Jeremy Basio. Stupid Skype. Boom, boom, boom. Does get one of the hounds to burst too, even though there was no air defense on the board when he dropped them. But very sexy job, Tosh. Boom. Right, so I think I got a little bit of 10 versus 10 action for you. Our boy Justin K moving in here. <clears throat> Almost. About to have that glorious moment with the Max Heroes. Uh, I know Justin's been working. I've, I've watched Justin since he was a Town Hall 9 come up through the ranks. One of those guys in the clan that has always just been, I mean, he's been in 2.0 for a long time now. Um, you know, but he's just always been a very quiet guy. Always kind of keeps to himself. He's a very good attacker. Uh, you know, he upgraded to Town Hall 10. Not too, too long after I believe he got promoted 2.0. So he's been working at this for a long time uh, and it's starting to pay off. But as you can see, again, guess what? Mass Bowler. So feel like we're coming back to, you know, the, the changes they made just sort of reverted it back to where it was before miners were the, the bee's knees. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> but anyhow, what I liked about Justin changing it up and bringing a bunch of hogs too, because he knows these this little mass bowler core is going to. It's hard to say mass bowler. I don't know why I say that. That's not definitely not the right term because it's basically a, a, a go hobo. Uh, but I just thought this was ballsy with the max hogs. Um, nice little free spell. Letting the hogs do their thing, heal them back up. Just got to make sure they work through those defenses, and then they're going to go right on over to this Inferno Tower from uh, from this section. And there's just far too many of them, and even the queen steps up there to help out. Hogs are now in. Down goes that Inferno Tower. Has so many of them left. That bomb nicks them just a little bit, but there's just too many hogs left. It is GG for this base. As cleanup troops around all over the place. Two hogs survive. Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. It's that queen ability. I think time was a little bit of a factor here, but just a sexy raid, my friend. Killing it. 
sneaky builders out there. Another one here too. But that was a, but that was a heartbreaker. I, I should check the time on this rate. I wonder how long it took them to get over to that builder's hut. Check this real quick. Two fifty four. And how how long does it take to drop? So two seconds. So that's six seconds left in the raid. So that's not too bad. Nice job, Justin. All right. I think I got one more here for you. Where is it? Number eleven. What would our war be without a three star from our buddy Ice, the Ice Man, going in here? Um, five Valkyries, four healers. Very. Just look at this army comp. This is what I love about this guy. Very, very creative. So he's going to go ahead in with this little uh, little Arch Queen walk. I think he busts her in um, in between these two air defenses. And the goal here is to get um, both the air defenses and the sweeper. I think he's just got to get the get the attention of these defenses over here. Kablam, kablam, kablam. Right, so she is making her way, like, very safe, right? Very safe entry. Nice little minis kind of keeping her force going the right way. I think as soon as this cannon locks on, we're going to open up this wall. Oh, no, they, they, both these air defense are walkable. So he's going to go ahead and create the funnel using his king and a couple wizards on the other side. Then open things up. There we go. Just now let the, the king in, lets these five Valkyries in, lets the queen in. They're going to step up. Keep in mind, he's already got two air defenses out of the way. His goal here is to make sure this Inferno Tower goes down, the Clan Castle goes down, the queen goes down. If he can get all of that stuff now, he is looking just fine and dandy. Queen standing there under the range. So down goes that Inferno. Clan Castle's getting rocked by that poison. Boom, boom, boom. Defensive queen is down. Queen's working on that baby D now. Down it goes. Down goes the rest of the minions. Beautiful. Mission accomplished. We got 33% of the base. We got an Inferno Tower. We got two air defense. We got the defensive queen. We got the clan castle troops. We got a sweeper. And we're still going. So let's go ahead and drop this Lava Hound. It goes in. Basically takes like three mines right to the face and bursts almost instantly. But immediately that Max Hound is there. Nice job because he's created that funnel here. So he's able to basically send those balloons right in on top of the uh, little Tesla and Inferno Tower uh, compartment there very, very quickly and take care of most of that. Does miss the Tesla there, unfortunately, but no big deal. He's going to have to go back for it afterwards here. But has so many balloons, right? Just kind of working towards this last remaining air defense that both hounds are burst. So it is a bit of a concern. He needs to get them over there as soon as possible. Haste, throw everything right on top of it just in time. Down goes the mortar. The queen is still doing work. He's got cleanup troops on either side of the base. So things are looking absolutely good at this point because this pack of balloons is going to be far, far too much for this one Tesla to go. So it's only a matter of time now. Love it. Down goes that king. Balloons get a nice little split. Let's clean up the base. And that is a sexy, sexy tree star from my buddy, Ice. Nice job, buddy. I just said buddy twice. Not your buddy, guy. Not your guy, friend. I'm not your friend, pal. Anyhow, clearly I'm uh, a little, little delirious this morning. I think I need some more coffee, but <laughs> thank you for the war, BRCM. Uh, always a pleasure matching up against uh, the Spartans Legacy family. You guys are good shit over there. Uh, so fantastic war. Until next time, guys, uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser to trying to help a bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.